Today we're going to take a look at Context Mines, a $69 lifetime deal available on AppSumo that lets you organize content ideas and AI generated keywords on digital whiteboards. Now let's jump into Context Mines and get started. So let's get started by clicking the new map button and giving our Context Mines a name. We're going to do this on mind mapping. So I'm going to tag it as mind map and I'm going to give it a description. What is a mind map and how to use it? And Context Minds is going to take this information and they're going to generate some AI based suggestions that we can then kind of build a mind map on mind map. So we'll click create. It'll open up the whiteboard. At the top, we'll see mind maps. Everything's auto saved. And down in the bottom is where the AI generated keywords are. We can see keyword metrics, 58,000 search volume, 86% clicks, 52 difficulty, for mind map, mind mapping is only 15,000 with a 54 difficulty, 91% clicks. So I'm just going to get started with the most search volume for mind map. And then we're going to go in and anytime we click our keyword mind map, we're going to see related concepts as well as suggestions. So I'm just going to drag a bunch of related concepts into my canvas. We can drag and drop and we can group things however we see fit underneath mind map. I just drag and drop in note taking. That's kind of what mind mapping is. It's a way to take notes. I can click the green button and I can tap a concept name or I can click a given keyword and click subtopic and do the exact same thing, seeing the related concepts for each keyword that I highlight. I can group my keywords in a way that then allows me to link them to one another. I've grouped these mind map, mind map examples, questions, as well as a mind map maker. And linking it is rather simple. You just click the mind map, click link to other, click where you want to link it. And you can even name the relation. So we're going to go ahead and name this do it yourself. Click done. And now we have a mind map with a bunch of arrows, things linked up, looks pretty cool. Now, if I click something like free mind mapping software in the right, we're going to see our keyword as well as a bunch of suggestions from Google. At any time, we can click pin to notes and that's going to pin it underneath free mind mapping software to the notes. Now, I can do the same for something like concept map, where then it'll bring up the result. A concept map is a conceptual diagram, is a diagram that depicts suggested relationships. I can pin this to notes. I can drag it to the map or I can scroll all the way to the bottom and I can actually get AI generated text from context minds. And if I want, I can pin that to notes or I can drag it up underneath. This all looks great, but it, it probably needs some color segmentation. Well, we can do that by clicking it, clicking types, giving it its own color. And I'm going to do this by all of the types of mind maps are going to be teal. And then we're going to list all of the AI generator responses as yellow. And then I've color coordinated based on questions and the types of mind maps, all of that. Now, if you want to share it with a client, you just copy the link, send the link over to the client. Maybe it's your team member, someone working on your team. They can drag and drop and do whatever they want within context minds without having an account they can't save. So whatever they do, if you then go back and look at it yourself, there'll be no changes to your mind map unless they actually have an account and have permissions and whatnot to save. Now you can do a PDF export where you can add your own logo, you can download it, send that to the client instead. You can also do it in PNG format. You can even copy the HTML. And I'm going to show you how you can embed this to something like Smart VCard, my latest video, or any website, anywhere that you can embed an HTML code. Right there, we've put a mind map on a digital business card. Pretty cool. And this really allows you to demonstrate sales concepts or something very briefly in a unique format. So I like that feature a lot. Now looking at the PDF, you're going to see a basic, easy to print PDF version, but you're not going to see the notes and it's going to cut off a lot of the AI text that I dragged in. Not really going to be the most ideal for complex mind maps, in my opinion. That's where the HTML embed or copying the link is much better. However, it is nice to have nonetheless for simple and to the point mind maps. Download as text is great if you then want to send this off and have it written into a blog article. You have a mind map, maybe you send the mind map, and then you also send all the text back up there. You can also create a blind map, and this is great if you want to rearrange your thoughts and see things in a different way because it removes all the relations and all of the links and everything, and then you can do as you see fit with that. Now jumping back out, it's created a copy. Let's go back into our original mind map. So you can back things up with an offline backup by exporting the file with map. You just simply click export and it's going to give you a TTL file. Now jumping over to settings, you're going to see the ability to include community as well as headings, target country and language, auto linking, straight links, 
a lot of different features to how you want the mind map structured. And then map properties is how we started everything off. And that's how we'll wrap this video up. Hopefully this video has brought you some value. I wanted to speed everything up along through it. I'm not the biggest authority in knowing how to mind map and use softwares like this. However, I think it's very cool. And in just 20 minutes, I created this mind map on mind mapping that I think I could even send off to an editor or jump into an AI writing software and write a blog article on mind mapping with some pre-done text generated by AI with context minds, as well as keywords based on search volumes and all of that stuff from Google. Hopefully this video has brought you some value. My name is Scott with AI Profits and we'll see you in the next one.